Oh, hey, hello, welcome to this really fun tutorial by Flowmotion. Because today I'm going to show you how to swing. <laughs> so just follow me into After Effects. Hey, before I start with a funny intro to this video, really quick, I'm giving away a free subscription for one year for Envato Elements. More to this later. So, we have to talk. Does any one of you know by now what this tutorial is all about? I swim as a small version of myself in a soup of noodles. So, this is a shrink tutorial, right? So, film yourself and scale yourself to the size you want to be. Well, that was kind of a short tutorial. Okay, got it. You can also make yourself look like a giant. So don't scale yourself down, but up. And the second tutorial is done. But let's face it, you probably knew all of this before. So let's just see the small version as a result of some super cool compositing tricks. And not just compositing tricks, but also keying tricks. Keying water is one of the hardest things to do. Hey, and creating water is even more advanced, so there is no chance to fake it. And that is why I always thought it's just too complicated to do. Until I woke up one day and thought, maybe this isn't complicated at all. I looked at some underwater scenes and compared them with some pool images. Most of them are blue. Perfect, because we all know how to key a green screen. So blue screen cannot be that hard, right? And let me directly tell you the best thing about this. The more sloppy you do your key, the better it will look. So speaking about better looking image quality, this tutorial will not just be about shrinking, becoming a giant and underwater keying. No, you will also learn some really cool tips and tricks along the way. Promised. So let's do this. I have filmed myself in this pool here and I want to place myself somewhere else. That is why I have also filmed this footage here. But you could also use any kind of fitting footage. And by that I mean that you have to make sure that the perspective is matching. So I filmed my version from up high. And depending on your pool size, you could choose the perspective you want for your shot. And as I normally do, let's go to Envato and search for fitting footage in the photo section. Search for breakfast table and here let's take um, this this one with the coffee cup and let's do the first composition with this one before we start deep diving into our final soup comp. And while we are at it, you know I always talk about Envato in my videos. They have millions of assets from pictures to fonts, After Effects templates, 3D assets where you can choose each angle you need for your shot and so on. So today I will give away a subscription for one of you for one year for free. So all you need to do is to write a comment about Toots Plus. So what is Toots Plus? <laughs> it's Envato's YouTube channel. Entirely free of charge and available here on YouTube. There's full courses on topics ranging from Photoshop, InDesign to After Effects and Premiere, all the way to packaging design and videos about how to manage your day-to-day -day workflow. The channel gets updated with new content frequently, so make sure to keep checking on to see if there's something new and interesting for you to learn. It's a great place to put an Envato Elements subscription to good use. And I will choose the winner of the free annual subscription in the next video. And if you don't win but still want to have Envato Elements, there's a link in my video description that will give you 70% discount. Okay. Back in our comp, let's now simply bring out the key light effect and try to get our worst key working. Because again, we want it to be as sloppy as possible. In other words, normally you, you want to have a solid alpha channel. And when I hit Alt plus 4, we can see that. But this time we want as much in between black and white. So all those nice gray values. Because white is what we see and black is transparent. And all the gray values are what we see through the water. Perfect. Now let's bring this on top of our coffee and we are getting somewhere. 
Now let's work on the colors. And I do it with a tint effect this time, because later when we work on the soup shot, this will do all the magic for us. Stick with me. So with a tint effect, I choose the darkest and brightest coffee color. And with the amount to tint, I can fine tweak it. Because as there is so much brown coffee around us, that would really cast a lot of brown color onto us. Hey, has everybody watched and understood the principle of how to do this? Because now it will get a bit more advanced with our soup shot. A very important part of water or swimming in some kind of fluid is that we have some part on top and some beneath it. And depending on the fluid, we see more or less through it. But also the image is more or less sharp depending on our fluid. And now as we have this, we can bring in the soup shot. So what I'm going to do here is create two keys. One with a more standard key, trying to get it to look better by getting rid of all the semi-transparent parts. And here the spill is really helpful because where we see the least blue tint, this is also the part that is on top of the water. For that, we will get a little more advanced by typing in advanced into the effects and presets window and use this cool animation preset. So by adding this, we will get three effects at once. First is the key light effect. Hey, and a tip here with the screen gain, we can get more or less of the values in between. So the semi-transparent parts, which is super handy for creating the two different keys. And by setting it to intermediate, we can only concentrate on the key without dealing with spill at the moment. So next is the key cleaner. Helpful when you have some artifacts that come in when you do not have a cinema camera, especially in the gray values. So perfect for this shot. And honestly, no one really owns a cinema camera. So we can play with the edge radius to help out here a bit and we can work on the alpha contrast, which does somehow the same like the screen gain we used before. And the last effect is the advanced spill killer. And hey, by default, it's set to blue. So just turn it on and it'll work. So let's go to a point where we see most of it and add our two keys on top of it. Again, we can tint it with a soup color. And as we have learned before, the amount to tint helps a lot for the composition. And here we can set the amount to a low value for everything that is above the liquid and really tint it to everything that is below the surface. And depending on your soup, also blur this layer. And if you want to bring it one step further, you could also extract all the small waves of the water and also place them on top. And I have a tutorial especially on that. Well, mainly on adding a shark, but anyways, <laughs> the more details you add, the better. And once we think we are done, we are not even close because we still have to track the whole shot, which is actually super duper easy. So let's set a marker here so we know at which frame we have created our fitting frame. And let's pre-comp everything we want to track in at that frame. Now let's add the mocha effect to this and open it up by clicking on the logo. In Mocha, we create a shape around the bowl. So I have some perspective change. So what I do is I create an ellipse around all of this. And when the perspective changes, the track will squeeze horizontally. And that will later on look like I'm also changing perspective. But hey, don't overdo this trick. This really just works for a small amount of cheating. So once tracked, we go to the frame again where we started which we see as we have created our mask here and therefore have a keyframe. Now, we want to see the area that we have tracked and remember that we pre comped everything we wanted to track at that frame. So we can also make our tracked area to fit the whole frame because again, me swimming is full frame at that point in time. Now let's save and close it and we are back in After Effects. So in here, let's create the tracking data, select what we want to do with it and I'm going with the corner pin data and also with motion blur, choose my pre-comp and hit apply. <laughs> hey, and before we close this tutorial, let's spice this up with some assets from Envato. So let's add a swim ring already pre-keyed. With some easy masks, I create the over and underwater layer and again, tint it and play it back. And if you have any questions about this tutorial or visual effects in general, leave me a comment and I will answer all of them. Hey, 
and I would also be super happy if you subscribe to my channel because it's kind of fun doing those videos and I don't want to stop because I still have some crazy tutorial ideas in mind. But for now I wish you a lot of fun in your noodle soup.